Get ready to get sweaty with Barbell founder, Marnie Alton. This bar-inspired routine is everything that you need to create a long, lean dancer's body. So let's go, sweat, and stretch. Just gonna start by shaking it off. Shaking off the worries of the day. Moving some blood back from the limbs to your heart. If you wanna do any modifications throughout this 45 minutes, take a peek at Ellie. In this one, she's not gonna bounce quite as high. Everyone bring your arms up. Deep breath, let your belly open and press back down. One more time and down. Now step your feet wide and just shake. Let your feet have some life, some vibration, and swing your arms forward and back. Warm up your shoulders. Eight counts, it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Bring your legs together. Inhale your arms overhead. Exhale, push your palms back, draw your navel to your spine. Bring your right foot forward, find your balance, lift your foot, flex and point your foot. Always working like a dancer. Start by warming up your feet, the joints of your ankles, circle your ankle either way. Bring your leg down, bring your other foot forward. Lift up, flex, and point. And again, circle either direction. Let your feet find the ground, inhale your arms overhead. Drop your shoulders, catch your right wrist, and bend to the side. Feel your heel rooted down, your glute grips. Take another big breath, opening your side ribs, your side lungs, other arm. Raise up. Feel your shoulder blade sliding away from your ear and your heel pushing into the ground. Take another big, expansive breath on your other body. Bring both arms up. Now you can watch Ellie if you want some more support for your low back. Otherwise, extend your arms up and overhead. Squeeze your thighs tight together. Pausing here, we need these back bends. Our spine is meant to go both forward and back. Be gentle, work your way through this. Take another inhale. And then from there, sweep your arms out. Step your feet a little wider and just counter stretch in a forward fold. Bend one knee, then the other knee. Take a breath into your back lungs. Inhale, maybe straighten your legs. Exhale, fold in from your stomach. Option, wrap around the back of your thighs to get a little more depth. Then from there, bend your knees. Roll yourself slowly up. Concentrate on stacking each bone of the spine. Turn your feet to a first position. That just means a V. Real simply, bring your arms out to second. Then from there, roll to the top of your right foot and reach. Stretch the whole right side and then other foot. So again, we take care of our feet. Roll to the top of your toenail, stretching the bones in the top of your foot. Pour the bra down. Come through first, expand through second. Bring your right leg out. Tendu, in and out, eight times. Feel that your standing leg is really straight and you're feeling a stretch from your right hip to right toe, then bring your arms down, reset, other side, eight times, one, two, three, four. Really lock into your posture here. Hold your heels tight together and bend at your knees. Bring your arms up and down. And if you'd like, like Ali, you can actually bring your arms all the way up to high fifth, up and down. Two more just like that. Now just pulse. Maybe hands back to prayer if you're feeling your shoulders a little sensitive. Otherwise, concentrate on bending your knees over your second toe. Four more. Now option, stay here pulsing or go to a grand plie. One full deep challenge for your core, up through, hands back to fifth. Shift your feet parallel. Keep your knees very straight and then lift your heels up and down. Up and down, up and down. Just eight more times. So your calves are the muscle responsible for bringing blood to your heart from your low body. So you want to get them nice and strong. Hold at the top. Find that little extra balance. Now step your feet out and drop. Lift. Push your hips back. Forward. Now the key to this one is to keep your weight all in your heels. You can bring your arms back. Push your hips forward. Two more. Now kick your right heel up. Up. Then your left. Now watch your elbows, they pull back behind you. Woo! Like Ellie, you can do it with no impact, just pulling the kickbacks to activate your glutes and your hamstrings. Or like me and Ellie, a little more jump, Woo! eight more. One, two, three, four, five, six. Step your right foot out, then your left. Then add a double. And again, now it's the left, right, double. Try it one more time. Right, left, double, with or without the bounce. You listen to your body on any given day. Single step side to side, eight times. Add a press through your palm. Feel that stretch in your calf again. Land center and jumping jacks. No impact jacks. One more time, Ellie's showing them. Eight more jacks like this. 
Another option if you like to jump but your shoulders feel a little tight, maybe hands go forward. Let's start at the top. Four drops, drop. One. Get deeper if you're feeling warm. Three. Now kick back eight. Right. Two, three, four, five, six. Now right leg out to the side. Left and a double on the right. Let your shoulders go soft. One more time there. Right, left, double. Little more bounce to get your heart rate up. Singles for eight. Twisting your stomach. It'll give you a sculpt and a detox. Jumping jacks for eight. Two. That's four. Six. Back to the top. Drop. Lift. Last round like this. Really pressing through your heels. Kickbacks eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Jump to the side. And your double. Give it a little more hip hop now. And double. Again. Double right. And left. Double left, side to side. Eight more, then we're gonna finish with jacks. Can you get more twist in your stomach? More massage in your abdomen. Last 16, it's jacks. Give a slap to your outer thighs. Simulating blood flow to the fascia on your outer hips and legs. Last eight, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now land. Woo. Pull your belly up, release your low spine. Take a long, deep breath. If you need water, now's a good time to take a quick sip. Otherwise, work through the massage of your low back. Open in your chest. Start a little pulse. So you wanna feel that the energy's coming from your heels, up your back legs into your glutes. Then you can have the option to have your hands in prayer. This will give you something to press against. Awakening and firing the muscles that support your shoulders. Building strength there. A challenge, bring your palms forward, elbows and biceps opened up. You can stay there or bring both hands back forward. Let it create more bounce. So as we go, these arms will be options. Every day you can come, you can try a new one. You listen to how it feels. Start having a conversation with your body, recognizing the difference between challenge and strength. You can try single arms, looking to the arm that's reaching back. Eight more just like that. One. Two, deep in the bend, really sit back in your heels. Both hands to your legs, jump in and out, or like Ellie, it's single steps. And out, for more than your crescendo for all of the cardio series. Ooh. We're at three, now find your row, find your bounce. Ellie, you ready to roll? Ready. You can go like Ellie. Feel yes, it. Ellie and Ellie. Yeah. You can go like her and go down and up, or you can join us and finish in jumps. Up, lift, last 16 and you're done. One, two, three, four, five, six, final eight, a little higher. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Open out. Exhale your chest forward. Give your hips a stretch. Shake a knot in your head. Rotate your heels in. Roll your hips down. Now that we're warm, let your low body open up. Keep your chest high. Our option, hands to the floor, and bring your hips up and down. Just three more times. Two of four. Three. Everyone lift your legs and hips up. And then exhale. Walk your feet in and roll back up. We're gonna bring all that blood, all that warmth, and keep it in the low body. So step your feet to the first position again. Bring your right leg back behind you. Square your hips and your shoulders. Roll your chest open. Bend your knees. Priority for this whole curtsy series is to keep your hips and shoulders squared. So if you have a mirror, that's cool to look at. Otherwise, keep working on it from the inside. So you just reach, reach, and pull. You drop down and lift back up. Open through the throat and press again in your heel. So drop down, up. Option, add a step to the side. Up. You can either keep that step or turn it into a knee lift. Up. If the arms are too much, 
back to prayer. Option, turn that extension to a stretching bat maw. And up. Do that four more times. You're at one. And two, three. Land, hold. Bring both arms overhead. Pull your stomach in. Bend from there a little down. So drop down, 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 hold. Really live in that hold for a sec. That's creating a neuromuscular connection to the muscles of your legs, your core. Hold, add a glute tuck, down. Now at that depth, tuck and release. Tuck and release, try that two more times. Hold, tuck, release, down. Now just tuck your hips eight times. Two, three, four, five. Let the fire build in your legs. If it's there, you're doing it right. And pulse down. Last three sets of eight, drop. Put equal weight in both feet. So yeah, you're definitely feeling it in your front right leg. Bend into that sensation. That feeling of burn is just muscles breaking Woo! down and rebuilding. They're building leaner and stronger. Eight more, one, two, three, four. Right to the edge, six, seven. Now step your legs out, down. This is a flush. You can add a little leap. Feeling a little bit more balletic. Four more. Two. The bend is at your hips. You're not collapsing in your chest. Now step to the other side. Establish posture. Bring your arm down. Reach. Pull. Push through your front heel. Equalize the weight in both feet. Focusing primarily on your left front heel. Option, add your step. Out. And really arrive. Never losing that sense of awakening in your chest. Option, bring your knee up. Option, you can turn it to that bat maw. Four more times. One. Options are today. A different option can be taken tomorrow. Where's your body at today? Hold. Bring your hands overhead. Lower down, 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 and hold. Add the tuck. Hold, tuck, down. Hold it, tuck, release. Notice how my upper back isn't rounding when that tuck happens. Your spine has three separate parts. We're treating them all as they should be treated. Low spine is very flexible. Hold there, tuck eight times. One, two, three, four, five, six. Find your pulses now. Pattern, meditative. Last three sets. Two. This time is gonna pass anyway. Let's pass it together. Getting stronger. 16 and you're done. Two. That's four. Your low body will get a rest after this. Eight more. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Release, stand on up. Roll your shoulders back. Take a hold of your right ankle in your opposite hand. Tuck under, ooh, find your balance. Very <laughs> cool. Open up in your chest. Hold. Great. Other side. So we learn not to be scared of wiggles. It's not static or nothing. It's sort of finding your balance. Then from there, stand out, wide second. So this goes into a more traditional ballet series. As you push down on the outstep of your heels, we're using more of your outer thigh and glutes, so they're fresh. Put your hands on your hips and just circle them around. Bring some blood back to your legs. Put your crown on your head and don't drop it. Open through your heart, keep it expanded. Circle your hips the other way. And notice that your shoulders feel warm and they're dripping away from your ears. And that your toes are spread wide. Once again, the weight's in the heel, but more the outer heel, more like by your pinky toe. Cool, now just hold there. Open through your chest, press your knees back. Sometimes it's cool to actually use your hands, your arms, to help place the low body. You can choose to do that, guiding a little more depth of the stretch, or bring your arms out and add a press back, back. Open through your throat. Eight more there, one, two. So we're catching the dancer's dent now, the gluteus medius. Hold there, bring your arms up, press your shoulders down. Lift your right heel up, down. You can stay flat-footed, or you can work just the foot. One more option for today, you're being called to it. Add a little pulse, one of four. Drop, two of four. 
drop, three. Switch to the other side, lift and lower. You're building grit. Every time you face a challenge, you sink into that. Option to add your bounce. And uncomfortable is okay. It's all right. Now from there, both heels up and down four times. Go back to your pulses with your heels down if that's better for you. Choose, releve, does that feel good or do you wanna go back to flat foot? Your choice, little pulses. Down, down. Last 16 here, two. You're at four. Really lift your heels up by engaging in your calf. Pull your abdomen in. Four more. Lower. Six, seven. Stand up, bring your legs together. Ooh. Roll your shoulders back. Bring your feet to a nice wide first. Softening your knees. Tuck your tail under. It's now really awaking your glutes and your abdomen. Then bring your palms back. Forearms arms press back. Back, tuck your hips twice. Arms press back twice. And your hips. Keep going just like that. Remember how we talked about the different parts of the spine? You wanna feel that from your shoulder blades up, you're actively pulling the arms back from there. From actually under your shoulder blades. And then hold there. Now from this position, bring your arms up and rotate your palms down. Roll your shoulders back down and around. So now we're working out of the trapezius. Typically when you feel tension in your neck, it's the traps. So you wanna activate your rhomboid muscles in your lats so they can do some of the work. And then the tension in the lat, the traps, can kind of dissipate. Hold, keep your hips tucked, pull back, back, back and hold. Continue back, back, back and hold. Pull your rib cage in, pull your navel to your spine. One more like that. Now from here, you can add a little pulse. Down, down, down and hold. One of four. Down, down, down and hold. Two of four. Down, down, down and hold. Three. Keep your arms just as they are. Now you have options. Staying here is a great option. It stretches your calves. A challenge for balance is to come to releve. Watch that you walk your heels together. Take a peek at my heels, they're touching. They're lifting each other up. Bend your knees a little more. Awaken the muscles in your legs. Little pulses down. Option, add the pulls back. As you exhale, again, crown to the sky. Heart up and open. Last 16. We're at three, four, five. Heels down is great. Last eight to finish. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then come all the way up. Step your feet out to parallel. It's a little bit wider than your hips. Shake out with your shoulders. We're gonna move again into your arms. Keeping the strength of your back to support the spine as we stand vertically. Bring your arms tight against your ribs. Then from there, little presses back. Just eight times. Just to remind the chest to open so that we're not doing like this all day. Now little curl, curl. So out to the side, forward. Keep your knees soft. Just gonna make sure blood flows across that joint. Open out and forward. Really feel your bicep squeeze into the arm bone. Three of eight. Again, lift from the bottom of your heart. Keep your arms out, lift up halfway and down. Up, down. As your elbows lift, think of pushing your shoulders away from your ears. Four more. That's two. You're at three. Hold there, pause. Now, from there, turn your right hand forward. Press up and down. Notice how it's going straight up. How your arm is staying in that alignment, not crossing over. Straight up. Ellie's gonna show that if this arm gets a little bit too tired, bring it to your waist. Try eight more, it's one, two. Exhale as you feel that extension. Six, change, other arm, press up, up. The more you can harmonize motion and breath, the more empowered you feel physically, emotionally. Eight more times. The less it seems challenging, the more it feels awakening. Exhale as you press your arms straight for eight, two. So now we're focusing on getting your arms as straight as possible. Keep them that straight. Flip your palms back so your pinkies are up. I'm just gonna show you to a side for a second. You're moving from front to back. Eight more times in that little slice. Two, three, four, five, six. Circle your hands forward. Two of eight. The goal here is just don't drop your arms. If they gotta go a little lower, that's fabulous. Circle back. Eight, two, three, four. This is also keeping your shoulders flexible and strong. Turn your palms up twice. 
back twice. Up, up, back, back. Up, up, back, back. Four more like that. One, two, you're at three. Now from there, just singles up and down. Up, down, now option, as you keep your arms moving, find your low body, bring it hip width and maybe releve. 16 more here. This is your second to last thing for the arm series. Just moving into the back arms, hold. Sweep them back, hinge slightly forward. Again, heels down is fine. Bend straight in at your elbows. I'll show you from the side. Eight more times. This is flat footed. This is releve. Keep your elbows straight. Circle up in and around. Two of four. You're at three. Roll your chest open. Circle the other way four times. One and two. That's three. Very last thing, turn your arms up to the ceiling. Try to high five the ceiling. Last 16. One, two, three, four. Exhale out your mouth as you stretch your arms up. Eight to finish. Three, four, five, six, seven. Release. Step your feet out, roll your shoulders back. Bring your right hand behind your right shoulder. Lift your elbows straight up. Keep your right heel rooted and bend. Take a breath, push your head against your arm. Bring your legs together. Let your arm hang. Centrifugal force, the power of circles in nature. Just let your arm make those circles. Bring your arm across your chest, drop your shoulder, look to the right. Pull your insides in, step out again. Bring your left hand up and over. Take a big long breath to your side body. Bring your legs together and circle. You don't gotta make the circles, just let them happen. Bring your arm across. Try to push your shoulder down a little more. Notice, was there room? Tuck under. One more breath. Release. Come down to your knees. Open through your chest. Step your leg forward. Expand across your throat and lungs. Option to curl your back toe under. Keep your front knee slightly forward of your ankle. Inhale your arms up. Turn your palms forward. Pull your elbows down. Hold here for four counts. Let your heart break open. Let your throat stretch. Bring your hands forward. Bring your arm up, same arm as leg, circle your wrist either way. Let go of something you're holding on to so tightly. Twist to detoxifying your belly. Bring your hand back down, lower your back knee, shift back. If you're feeling very tight in your hamstring or back, watch Ellie. If you're feeling quite open, explore. How far could you go down? It's not how far you go down. It's how long the limbs and spine are. Exhale into your position, whatever your personal position is. Point your foot. Glide your leg back. Bring your hand over, your leg behind you. Lift from your abdomen, press to downward dog. Inhale that same leg up to the sky. Exhale through to pigeon. If pigeon isn't right for your hips or your knees, Ellie will show a modification. Take a breath. Bring your chest forward and down. Let your head rest. We put unwarranted amounts of pressure on our neck and spine every time we look down at a phone or a computer. So for just a sec, really let the weight of your skull rest either on your fists, your palms, or the floor. Take another big breath. Swirl it in and around your hip, your legs. And then from there, hands back. Come to a plank. Come onto your knees. Round up. Step your other foot forward. Other side. Option. Pull your back toe under. Pull your abdomen in so you're lifted in your spine. Raise your arms up. Bend more deeply in your front knee. Bend your elbows. Pause for a second. Take a moment. There's no rhythm without pause. Bring your hands forward, working arm up, circle. Exhale, twist and stretch. Lower, lower your knee and shift back. Then give your breath running vertically up and down from your knee to your hip. Open your chest, option if you'd like. Explore a lengthening through your body. Flex your front foot. A dancer knows feet are so important. Point your feet. The shape of your foot directly affects the kinetic chain up your ankle, knee, hips to spine, right to your neck and shoulders. Bring yourself back, downward facing dog. Press your hips skyward. Inhale your working leg up. Exhale through to pigeon. Flex your front foot if you're in pigeon, protect your knee, roll your hip down. Then give your head a place to rest. Take a breath. On your next exhale, explore the full weight of your skull the brain in it, the thoughts in that. One more big release. And then from there, bring your hands under your shoulders. 
come onto all fours. So we stimulated through the glutes in a functional way in that warm-up series. Now pull in from your stomach and round your back. All the muscles that you woke up in your back will awaken them again. Bring your leg up, for us it'll be the right leg. Pull your waistline in. Pull your heart forward, lengthen through your neck. Bring your knee all the way to your nose, tuck your chin, stretch your legs straight, stretch your neck. Pull in and out. Two more times. As you pull your knee in, round your back. Keep your leg out, long and straight. Tap to the left and the other side. Now, by its nature, balance is constantly adapting. Balance isn't static. So you're exploring that in here as your leg moves laterally and medially. Four more like that. You're working not to collapse into your non-working side, but rather keep the energy of your stomach pulling up. One more, now land out a little wider than your hip, lift your leg. Flex your foot, rotate your knee and toes down. Lift, up, up, up. 16 more like that. Challenge yourself perhaps to bring your leg a little wider without losing the squareness of your hips and your shoulders. Four, you're strengthening that supporting shoulder as well. Hold, point your foot, bend your knee. Wrap the knee behind your hip and drop your other forearm down. So this low forearm is elbow underneath your shoulder. Then from there, bring your leg down, up. Breathe in and out. Now you can control the depth of challenge, how much you're getting into the glute by the position of your hips. Rotate your right hip down, your working hip down, and turn your working thigh bone open. And think of a little fist squeezing right at the crease at the bottom of your cheek at the top. Whew. Eight more just like that, then we go finish. <laughs> so it's down. One. That's two. Big breath out your mouth. That's gonna speak to your abdomen. As you brace your stomach, your hips are still, your glute gets more challenged. Lift straight up, 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 up. Add a strong exhale. Final 16 to finish. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Last eight, can your leg get higher? Three, four, five, six, seven. Release down. Roll up, roll your shoulders back. Bring your hands back. Take a big breath in and a big breath out. Bring your hands forward. Let's give your wrists a quick release. And other way. Cool, other side. Come down into all fours. Finding that balance, lift your stomach up, round your shoulders. Bring your other leg up, point your foot. Keep stable in your hips. Bring your knee to your nose. And then stretch it straight. Think about actually pulling your leg bone to the thigh bone out of the hip socket. Trying to touch your toe to the other side of the room. One more like that. Pull in through your waist, stretch. Now your straight knee goes to the side and the other. So it's a little arc. Don't worry yourself with how high the leg is. Focus first on taking the wiggle out of your hips and shoulders. And then start seeing if that arc can increase without losing the foundation of alignment. Four more just like that. That's one. And two. This work, like dance, can be so meditative because you're focusing on the present and what your body's feeling and doing. Hold, lift your leg up, flex your foot. Noticing your toes towards the floor, lift, lift, lift. Add an exhale. Maybe widen your leg without opening your hip. Catching that dancer's dent again, the gluteus medius. 16 more, then we'll change to the open hip posture. Eight more like that. Push your heel longer, two, three, four, five, six. Now point your foot, bend your knee. Wrap your hip behind it, or your knee behind your hip rather. Bring your arm down, keep the hip dropped. Touch your leg, back ankle up, down, up. So your moving leg kisses the Achilles of your low side. Lengthen through the front and your back of your throat eight more times. Breathe out. That's chill. You know, the word yoga comes from the word yoke, to yoke horses together, because you're combining breath and motion, body and breath. Same thing here, now just lift. Let it be small and deep. Drop the tension from your face. Relax your hip towards the floor. Lift from just your glute. Last 16 to finish. One, two, three, five, six, eight more. Like a little punch to the sky. You're at three, four, 
five, six, seven, eight, and back down. Roll up, bring your shoulders back down and around. Two more times. One more time. Bring your hands under your shoulders. Just step your knees back a little further. So it's similar to the posture we were just in. We're still staying real active in the supportive tissue of your back. Tuck your belly up and point your feet. We'll work through rolling push-ups now, which is bringing your chest to the ground, pull your elbows in. Press all the way up with an exhale. Push your hip bones back till your sit bones touch your heels. And then come forward. So we roll down, up, back, forward. Press back and forward. Down, up, back, forward, down, up. At an exhale, as you move through the space. You've got eight more like that. Keep your elbows hugged into your ribs. Press up, back, forward. Up, back, forward. Four more. Really rotate your thighs towards each other, your arm bones towards your ribs. One more like that. Now hold, pull your waistline up. If you wanna get real crazy, come to your toes, or you can stay on your knees. Push-ups just eight times, down, up one, down, up two, breathe in, you're at three. Push-ups are one of the most powerful tools we have to create a lean body. Strong arms and limbs and back and core. Two more like that, one more like that. Press to a downward facing dog for a quick reprise. Exhale, bring your chest forward. Let's stay in the energy. Walk your feet so that they're a little more narrow than your hips. Lift lower, one knee at a time. Round your back, up, lift. The key to this is to keep consciously dragging your shoulders down from your ears. For a more slow, then you're gonna have an option to speed it up. Option, stay there with Ellie, or up, 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 up. Last four sets of eight. Two, three, four, second set of eight. Bring your knees a little higher, pull your shoulders apart. 16 more. Last eight here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and come down. Roll up. Roll your shoulders back. Take an exhale, and then come back to your forearm plank to finish. Bring your hands under your shoulders. There's blood flow back to those guys. Pull your waist in, tap right, tap left, tap right. Again with these twists, we're creating an opportunity to massage the organs in your belly that detoxify. Exhale, we're also waking your obliques up. You got eight more. It's one, two, three, four, five, six. Land at center, pause. Option to come to your knees. Press your heels out, pull your tummy up, surrender to the posture. Just exhale. Last four sets of eight. Three, four. Second set. How wonderful that we can breathe. Last 16 counts. Let the breath move in and out. Final eight counts. It's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Release. Bring your hands back behind you for a counter stretch for the front body. Either keep your hands and knees on the ground, keep your chin tucked, stretching your thighs. If you prefer, hands to your low back, open your throat. One final option, hands to your inner legs, or inner feet rather, and press up. Hold four counts. One more big stretch. Okay, let's come to your abs. So working through our ballet abs series. Ab time. Yeah, ab time. Again, take water whenever you need to get more abs. So what we did in all that plank series is we worked your core and your abdominal muscles in a pretty tricky functional way. So they're already ready to roll. From here, bring your feet parallel and hip width. Tuck your tailbone under. And you wanna land on your sacrum. Your sacrum's that little triangle bone just around the base of your spine. So not the low back. I'm gonna keep the whole back in just sort of a natural, neutral curve. Pull your waist in. Hold behind your thighs and make this real ballet dancer or ballroom dancer arm shape. Pull your stomach in as you breathe out and add sort of like a curl, just rotating your hip bones towards your ribs. Do this a couple more times. Awesome, Ellie. Lengthen again, the crown to sky. Heart stays open, but you pull your waistline in. Hold there. Now, as you hold your abs taut, bring your arms forward to first position. In first position, if you're not familiar, it's no big deal. Just bring your arms at about the sternum with your elbows soft. Hold that. 
And then open your arms out to second. We're just gonna feel what it feels like to change where your arms are. Your lower body hasn't shifted. Option arms up. At any point, you can hold back on behind your thighs. Also, hold the arms there. See what it feels like to lengthen your legs and perhaps draw them together. Everybody is unique. Everybody has its own reaction to different positions. So bring your arms back and hold on. That's gonna be the series. Pull your waistline in, choose a leg position that captures your stomach. Your arms are gonna go. First position, hold with an exhale. Second position, hold. Fifth position, hold. Second position, hold. First position, now this first position, second position. Can be a clasp of your legs as a reset. And out to second. So option first position or reset behind your thighs. And expand. Bring your arms up, open out. And again, clasp or first, open with stability. Lift up, everyone hold back on. Tuck your tail, bring your hands across your chest. Now, little fold of your stomach towards your hips. So instead of trying to tuck your chin in or round your back, think about the bones under your skin. From your ribs and your hips, your ribs are pulling towards your hips, so they're bending in half. You can stay just like this, taking a hold on any time you need, or twist opposite elbow to knee eight times, and then other, back, and crunch, and crunch, four more times, one, and two, you're at three, and four. Now it's center, just hold. Clasp behind your thighs one more time. Bring your legs up. Option, if you'd like, like Ellie, you can either come down to your forearms or to your palms. And then from here, Ellie, you ready to kill it? Whew. Bring your arms out. Bring your legs out, in, out, in. Just 16 times to finish this set. One, two, three. Exhale again. Focus on that bend and unbend at your stomach. Last eight. One, two, three, four, don't drop your crown. Six, seven, and lay Ooh. down ah. on your back. Yeah. Yay, she literally said yay to laying down. <laughs> Bring your hands behind your head. Then you're gonna fold your elbows in around your ears. Then as you bring your shoulders up, lift your right knee up, extend your leg, bend your knee, lower your foot and your head. One more time, slow, right knee up, hold. Your elbows are drawn in towards your ears, not out. And then back. On the beat, it's in, leg stretches, bend and touch. One of four, in, up, and down. Two of four. Now if your upper back is feeling a little too tight for this, you can just work your legs. Other side, slow it down first. Left hold, extend up. Bend your knee, lower head and foot. One more slow, up, hold, extend straight. Bend your knee and lower back. On the beat four times. Up, extend, bend and drop. One of four. Really notice that bat ma. So you can see your leg getting long and strong as your abdomen feels awakened, powerful. Option, alternate legs or both legs in. Up, back, option to alternate, or bring both knees in at the same time. Two more from your choice, and bend. One more. Now don't drop to the floor. Option to hold behind your legs, so Ellie, take a hold on, or just pull your elbows in. In, just eight more times. One, then your head is going down. Three, push your knees a little further away. Five, six, seven, lay down. Bring your hands underneath your sacrum. If you want a little bit of a tilt for your pelvis, it can feel good. You can also choose to keep your knees slightly bent. Just lift your hips up, up. Accessing the pelvic floor and low abdomen. This is your second to last thing for all of abs. This is your second to last thing before your stretch. <laughs> that got a will. Eight more, one, two, three. Visualize the flesh between your hips, below your belly button, now, keep that active, bend your knees. Press your low back into the mat. Bring your hands behind your head for your finale. Bring your feet hip width. Exhale, curl your chest up. 
Then from there, bend your knees, slice a bicycle. In, 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 in. Flex your feet, last four sets of eight. Two, three, four, five, six. Second set, this is the finish. Three, four, maybe chest a little higher. Last 16, three, four, five, final eight. It's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yes. Drop. Yay. <laughs> Roll onto your stomach. So Let's bad. take a stretch. A well-earned stretch. So we want to now create balance. So counter stretching in your hips that were flexed in your stomach. Bring your hands under your shoulders. I'll show you two positions. This is half cobra. Elbows drawn in. Your hip bones and abdomen stay on the floor. Just really focus on lifting your heart. Take another breath. Come back. Ellie, you can do that again, my love. Allie, if you'd like, bring your hands closer to the waist, directly under your shoulders. Take a breath. As you exhale, press into full up dog, keeping the alignment of your wrists under shoulders. Take another big inhale. Maybe your knees lift. And down. Choose to repeat either of those two or one more progression. And again, you can come back to this every day and try something new every day. Maybe today it's this. Take a big inhale. Hold on to the base of your feet, the ankles, and kick up. Let the power of your feet kicking away lift your chest, lift your heart, fill your lungs. One more big breath, and release. Press yourself back, turn onto your back one more time. Lay down and enjoy the comfort of the floor. Let it take the weight of your bones, and your blood, and your organs, your muscles. And from there, bring your right leg up. Stretch it up to the sky. Circle your foot either way. Bringing blood back to your heart from where it pools in the low limbs. Flex your foot, turn it out to the right. Bend your knee, rotate your right knee open. And from there, hold the back of your thigh. You can go into floating figure four. Another option is to bind your knees together. Take a hold of your ankles. So don't hold your feet, that'll sickle the feet. Hold on to your ankles or shins, like a, like a bike, like handlebars on a bike. Draw your ankles up, roll your hips down. Close your eyes and take a big breath right down and around your low back, your outer hips, your glutes, the base of your spine. Release, other side. Bring your left foot up, circle, either way. Flex your foot, turn your whole leg to the left, bend your knee, take a second, maybe massage inside the hip bones in and around your psoas. You can bring your other thigh up into a floating figure four. Stay for a releasing breath. You can bind your legs all the way together. Pull your ankles up and your hips down. Roll your tailbone towards the floor. Don't rush the breath. If there's one thing we cannot live without, really not even for minutes, it's breath. Most other things we can do without for a while, but not this air. Release. Pull your knees into your chest, tuck your chin, roll all the way up. And then extend your legs out. Wide straddle. Really allow yourself to be expanded through your inner thigh. Then bring your right arm up. Stretch over to the side. Breathe down into your right hip. Roll your shoulder back. Roll your palm open and then come back to seated. Other arm up. Keep your shoulder dropped. Bend from the muscles in your waist, the freedom in your spine, feeling of root through your left hip. And then up. And now cross your legs. And just for fun, for something new, cross your legs the other direction. You'll notice that those tiny changes can make significant sensation shifts in your body. Bring your hands back behind you. And take one more big breath, one real full breath that feels down into your belly, let it expand, don't make it be drawn in. Breathe down into your hips, to your knees, to your toes, up to your eyelashes, all the way to the tip of every strand of hair. And release. Keep your arms both out and up. Touch your hands in prayer, creating a balance. Pull your prayer down your center line. Bring your hands to your heart. Feel how it beats the rise and fall of your lungs, your aliveness. Open your arms out like unfurling flower petals or wings expanding. Take a deep stretch. 
opening across your front body. Bring your hands to the earth, feel her. Don't be afraid to try things today. As you stumble, if you fall, she'll catch you. And open your eyes. Look for the sun. Be in the light. Have a very cool day. You're all done.